Have you ever realized that some people have way more energy in the gym than others? It's most likely due to the pre-workout they take each day. But what makes a pre-workout better than others? Today I'm going to go over five of the best ingredients to look for in a pre-workout and the correct dosages that should be in there and why they work so well for a pre-workout. All right, let's dive into the fantastic world of pre-workout ingredients. Through my years of experimenting and fine-tuning my workout regimen, I've nailed down a list of the top players that can seriously elevate your gym game. Let's break it down ingredient by ingredient, starting with the powerhouse. Creatine. Creatine hydrochloride versus monohydrate. It's like picking your partner in crime. If you're gunning for strength and want minimal water weight, creatine hydrochloride is your go-to. This version is super efficient, needing a smaller dose to get the job done, and you won't need a loading phase either. This means it gets to work fast, increasing your strength and muscle recovery without the bloat, making it a smoother ride on your stomach too. Plus, it dissolves like a dream in water, making it easier for your body to absorb. Now, if your goal is to gain not just strength but also size, creatine monohydrate is your best bet. It works by pulling more water into your muscles, giving you that bulked up look and helping you push harder during workouts. I would say a good starting point is about five grams per day every day. Moving on to L-citrulline, this incredible amino acid is your heart's best friend. It boosts nitric oxide production, which is fantastic for your arteries. It helps them relax and improves blood flow, better nutrient delivery to your muscles. This process is known as vasodilation. Besides upping your workout performance, L-citrulline might also help with mild to moderate erectile dysfunction and some genetic disorders by improving blood flow. It's like giving your body a mini supercharge to keep everything running running smoothly and more efficiently. But that's not all. L-citrulline may also be a heart hero. Studies have shown that it can help reduce blood pressure levels. Some findings suggest that regular supplementation could decrease both your systolic and diastolic blood pressure, which is huge if you're looking to maintain a healthy heart as you age. Plus, it has some potential benefits in tackling tougher issues like hypertension, inflammation, insulin resistance, and even type 2 diabetes. The best part? The right dosage of L-citrulline depends on your personal fitness goals and needs, making it a customizable part of your health regimen. Now, shift Shifting gears to beta alanine, this is a must-know for anyone looking to step up their game in the gym. It's celebrated for its role in improving athletic performance and is especially potent in delaying muscle fatigue. Imagine pushing through those extra reps or running that additional mile because beta alanine helps buffer acid in your muscles, enhancing endurance and strength during those tough workouts. The International Society of Sports Nutrition backs this up, suggesting that beta alanine can significantly boost your training volume and reduce fatigue during resistance exercises. It's considered safe for healthy individuals and has a recommended dose that ensures you get all the benefits without overdoing it. So whether you're looking to level up your workout efficiency with L-citrulline or push your endurance with beta-alanine, incorporating these supplements could really turn the tide in your fitness journey. A meta-analysis revealed that beta-alanine supplementation had a moderate positive effect on exercise capacity when compared to a placebo. Further research, including a study published in the Journal of the International Society of Sports Nutrition, confirmed that beta-alanine enhances power output during strength training, which lasted five weeks. This amino acid boosts carnosine levels in muscles, helping to control acid buildup and delay fatigue. Beyond athletic performance, beta-alanine might also improve vascular function and reduce oxidative stress according to animal studies. However, the overall evidence supporting beta-alanine's benefits is not yet definitive, and standard dosages are not established. Its safety remains unconfirmed for certain groups, including children, those with specific health conditions, and pregnant or breastfeeding women. Therefore, consulting a healthcare professional before starting beta-alanine supplementation is advised, particularly for those in sensitive groups. Then we have BCAAs or branched-chain amino acids, comprising three essential nutrients, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. These amino acids are considered essential because the body cannot produce them on its own. They must be obtained through diet or supplementation. Experts emphasize the critical roles BCAAs play in various aspects of physical performance and recovery particularly for athletes and fitness enthusiasts. Leucine is often highlighted as the star among BCAs due to its potent ability to trigger muscle protein synthesis, the process by which the body builds new muscle protein. This is crucial not just for muscle growth, but also for repair after intense workouts. Leucine acts as a key signal in turning on the body's muscle building machinery, making it a favorite topic among nutrition and fitness researchers. BCAAs are not only important for building muscle, but also for repairing it. After strenuous exercise, muscles undergo damage that need 
needs to be repaired to grow stronger. By increasing the rate of protein synthesis and decreasing the rate of protein degradation, BCAAs help repair torn muscle fibers and reduce muscle soreness. This can lead to a quicker recovery, allowing athletes to train more effectively with less downtime. During prolonged workouts, the body starts to deplete its glycogen stores, which are the primary source of energy for muscles. BCAAs can help preserve these stores by providing an additional energy source for working muscles when glycogen is low. This preservation of glycogen helps to prolong endurance and delay fatigue. Additionally, BCAAs can help decrease the amount of tryptophan entering the brain, which in turn reduces the production of serotonin, a neurotransmitter that can increase the perception of fatigue during exercise. Reduction of protein breakdown. Exercising, especially at high intensities or for long durations, increases the rate of protein breakdown in the muscles. By reducing the breakdown of proteins during workouts, BCAAs help maintain muscle mass and prevent muscle wasting or catabolism. This is particularly important during calorie-restricted periods such as dieting or during high-endurance sports. Experts also point out that while BCAAs are beneficial, their effectiveness can be enhanced when taken in conjunction with a complete protein source, as other essential amino acids are also needed for optimal muscle protein synthesis. Moreover, the timing of BCAA intake can play a role in maximizing their benefits, with many recommending ingestion before or during workouts to reduce fatigue and enhance protein synthesis, and after workouts to aid in recovery. A good dosage to look for in a pre-workout is around 5 to 10 grams per serving. And of course, last we have caffeine. Caffeine is a staple in many pre-workout supplements. It can improve alertness and delay fatigue during workouts by stimulating the nervous system. When it comes to selecting caffeine for pre-workout supplements, experts often discuss various forms of caffeine, each with its own benefits. The most commonly used types are caffeine and hydrous. This is a highly concentrated form of caffeine found as a dehydrated powder. It is very potent and fast acting, making it a popular choice for pre-workout supplements due to its ability to quickly enhance focus and energy levels. Also, there is natural caffeine, sourced from plants like coffee beans, tea leaves, or guarana. Natural caffeine in includes other natural compounds that may reduce the harsh effects of caffeine such as jitters. This form is often preferred by those looking for a more gradual release of energy. The choice between these depends largely on personal preference and tolerance. Caffeine anhydrous is more intense and acts faster, while natural caffeine offers a steadier release of energy, which some find more manageable. The effective dose of caffeine for enhancing performance can vary widely among individuals, depending on their tolerance and sensitivity to caffeine. Generally, the recommended dosage for improved performance ranges from 100 to 300 mg. It's important to start at the lower end to assess tolerance and avoid potential side effects such as anxiety, jitters, and heart palpitations. For most people, taking caffeine about 30 to 60 minutes before a workout is ideal as it aligns the peak stimulant effects with their training session. As always, it is crucial to consult with a healthcare provider before starting any new supplement regimen, especially if there are underlying health concerns or if other stimulant-containing products are being used. And that's it for today's video. I hope you found some useful information in here as this can really help with motivation and gains on workout days. Thank you for hanging out and I hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and remember to stay flexing, stay glowing, and stay safe out there. See you later.